Celtic fringe players who could spark transfer exodus as Angie Postacogla continues squad overhaul. Tell me in the comments what you think. Will any leave? And who do you think will leave Celtic this summer? Long-serving duo Tom Rogic and Nee Bitten have decided to call time on their Parkhead careers, while question remarks remain over the futures of Lone Stars, Jota and Cameron Carter-Vickers. A number of other fringe players could also head for the exit door to free up funds and wages for Postacogla to bring in fresh faces. Vasilis Barkas The Greek tragedy has turned out to be an unmitigated disaster. A £5 million dud, Barkas managed just two appearances under Angie Postacogla. He's behind Joe Hart and Scott Bain in the pecking order and the hoops will have to cut their losses. Ross Duhan Duhan has yet to make a single appearance for the first team, having had seven spells out on loan. He was most recently with Tranmurovers in League Two. Age 24, Duhan isn't going to make the breakthrough anytime soon and it's probably best if he finds a permanent home elsewhere. Connor Hazard The Northern Ireland cap was an unlikely Scottish Cup final hero as Celtic secured the quadruple treble in 2020. Hazard was thrown into the deep end by Neil Lennon, who lost faith in Barkers, and saved two penalties in a dramatic shootout win over Hearts. Perhaps unfairly, the 24-year-old was later bombed out having lost his place between the sticks to Scott Bain and is now currently on loan with HJK in Finland. Bolai Bolingali The Belgian-born defender wasn't even in the country as Celtic lifted the Scottish Premiership title. He joined Russian side FC UFA in February but failed to make a single appearance as his loan was cut short. A £2 million signing from Rapid Vienna in 2019, the left-back has no future at Parkhead and a parting of ways is inevitable. Jose's Erho Guide The summer signing from Sheffield Wednesday made just one appearance, before being farmed out on loan to Ostend. He seems to have caught the eye there with the Belgian club retaining an option to buy claws at the end of the loan stint. In an exclusive interview, the 21-year-old defender suggested to Football Scotland that he had unfinished business at Parkhead, but Postacogler may not share a similar view. Adam Montgomery Versatile Montgomery featured sparingly in the early stages of the season as Celtic lacked strength and depth. The teenager, who can play left-back or on the wing, did make a notable contribution at Pitodri in October by setting up Hotter's winner. Ironically, he joined Aberdeen on loan in January but managed just five starts in eight appearances during a disappointing period. Christopher Jullian The £7 million French stopper last week warned he could quit the club after playing just 16 minutes of football this season. Jullian returned from a year-long injury layoff against Wraith Rovers in February but struggled to even make the bench thereafter. As he enters the final 12 months of his contract, Postacogla will likely cash in rather than risk losing him for nothing next summer. Liam Scales The Republic of Ireland defender scored on his league debut for Celtic during a 3-0 win at Dundee United. He played frequently during the months of December and January but fell out of the picture after a poor display away to Bodo Glimt. With Postacogla likely to acquire a new left-back to compete with Greg Taylor, ex-Shamrock Rovers man Scales could be shown the door. Liam Shaw Shaw arrived at Parkhead at the same time as fellow Hillsborough teammate Erho Guide, but the midfielder has suffered a similar fate. A regular for the Owls last season, the capture of 21-year-old Shaw was regarded as a significant coup for the hoops. However, he made just two appearances before enduring an equally difficult spell on loan at Motherwell, playing just eight times. Ismaila Soro Soro emerged as an unlikely fan's favourite last season as Celtic supporters watched games through the tips of their fingers. Many expected the Ivory Coast cap to play a key role under Postacogla, but it simply hasn't worked out. The 24-year-old was limited to just six starts and it's likely he'll be part of an end-of-season clear-out. James McCarthy The only blemish in Postacogla's phenomenal transfer record, McCarthy has proved to be a major disappointment. The injury-prone Republic of Ireland international looks a shadow of the player he was at Wigan, Everton and Crystal Palace. Eyebrows were raised when Celtic handed the 31-year-old midfielder a lucrative four-year contract last summer 
and those concerns have proven to be valid. Mikey Johnston. The skillful winger has become a bit of a whipping boy in the eyes of the Celtic faithful after an injury-plagued couple of years. Johnston was tipped to become a future star after bursting onto the scene under Brendan Rodgers, but a series of setbacks has curtailed his progress. Now 23, Johnston has reached a career crossroads and a fresh start elsewhere may be the best option for the academy graduate. Karamako Dembele Another who has failed to live up to his potential, Dembele's future appears to lie elsewhere. It's understood the one-time wonder kid's contract expires this summer, and with fresh terms yet to be signed, a departure seems to be on the cards. The pint-sized attacker was billed as the next big thing after breaking into Celtics under 20s age just 13. However, with just 10 senior games to his name, there doesn't appear to be any imminent pathway into poster Coggler's starting 11. Scott Robertson Robertson caught the eye after being handed his Celtic debut in a Europa League dead rubber away to CFR Kludge. The 20-year-old midfielder has since continued his development on loan with Gillingham and Doncaster Rovers. He made a bright start to his temporary spell with Crew Alexandra before an injury in March ruled him out for the campaign. Luca Connell To put it frankly, Connell's promising career has nosedived since swapping Bolton for Celtic in 2019. The Republic of Ireland prospect was courted by a number of English sides after starring for Bolton's first team age just 18, but Celts won the race for his signature. However, the midfielder is still waiting for his hoops bow having spent two seasons out on loan with Queen's Park. Albion Ajeti Swiss misfit Ajeti has no chance of making the grade at Celtic Park and will be free to leave should an acceptable offer arrive. The £5 million flop from West Ham has badly struggled to make his mark in Glasgow with just nine goals in 48 games. A return to first club FC Basel, where he enjoyed the most prolific spell of his career, could well be an option in the summer. Lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party.